Welcome to Homeschool Nolan, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. I work in the tech industry, and for the past year, there's been a lot of talk about how generative artificial intelligence, or Gen AI, is going to take over the world. In response, a lot of tech professionals, including myself, have been updating our job skills so we can hopefully get in on the action and make a good living off Gen AI. But what I started to notice lately is that many tech companies, big and small, have continued to quietly let go more people than they've been hiring. And today, I'd like to talk about the truth about jobs in gener generative AI and why, unlike previous new technologies such as the personal computer, the internet, and the smartphone, Gen AI so far is creating fewer new jobs than are being eliminated. But first, let me briefly review, what is Gen AI? Well, Gen AI is a branch of artificial intelligence that can generate new content. This content can be text. For example, it can be an essay, a poem, or even computer code. It can also generate images that look like original works of art. It can also generate music that sounds like it was composed by a human musician. Gen AI uses sophisticated computer models called large language models, or LLMs. These LLMs are trained on large volumes of data, for example, the entire internet. Now, the cool thing about Gen AI is that this amazing technology has been made accessible to just about everyone by the big tech companies. If you listen to them talk, they sometimes like to say they are democratizing the technology meaning you don't have to be a big company with vast resources in order to take advantage of it. But here's the truth. If a technology has been democratized and made available to everyone, then it's much harder for ordinary folks to gain any advantage to make any money off of it. The only companies really making money right now are the big tech companies and the well-funded startups that actually produce these large language models. So, if you want a job in Gen AI, my recommendation is that you first try to work for one of these large tech companies or the startups that they've invested in. But the truth is, is that getting a job at these companies can be tough right now, unless you're really good. And by really good, I mean that you can perhaps help improve or even build upon these large language models. This is a skill that few people have and the big tech companies all compete for the best talent in the field. Now, one job type that Gen AI has created, which more people can learn how to do, is called prompt engineering. Perhaps you've heard of it. Prompt engineering is all about writing the inputs for Gen AI to get the desired outputs. And these inputs are normally written in plain English. Now, this may sound easy to do, but in reality, if you want to get the best results, you often need to create prompts in a certain format or pattern. And this can take a lot of trial and error and experience. That's why you'll sometimes see now postings for prompt engineering jobs that pay as high as $300,000 a year. Now, if you want to be a really good prompt engineer though, you should also know how to program using Python. That's because there's a lot of code and libraries out there that make it easier to build applications using Gen AI, and these libraries and tools are mostly written in Python. But here's the truth about these Python and prompt engineering jobs. The reason these jobs may seem to pay pretty well right now is because Gen AI and prompt engineering are still pretty new, and there aren't many experienced professionals out there yet who can do the job. But as time goes by, I predict more programmers will get into prompt engineering and Gen AI. I also think the AI will get even more sophisticated so that it doesn't require as much skill to write good prompts. And since this job can be done anywhere in the world, it will also become increasingly competitive and thus drive wages down. So if you want to have an edge though in prompt engineering, I suggest that you combine this skill with specialized knowledge in a particular domain or field. 
That's how you can, be, you can become more rare and valuable. Being a generic prompt engineer, engineer for generic use cases won't get you far. Now there's one other job type that's important for Gen AI that I'd like to mention today, and that's the job of chip designer. Artificial intelligence requires powerful computers running the most advanced computer chips. There are only a handful of big companies that design these chips. And if you're someone who can help design even smaller and faster chips, you should try working for them. Obviously though, designing computer chips is a more advanced and specialized skill. It's not something you can learn by taking an online class. Unlike, program Python, unlike Python programming, which is easy to learn on your own, designing computer chips requires a background in electrical engineering, along with access to very expensive and specialized software. So here's the truth about Gen AI, Gen AI jobs in general. The higher paying jobs require more specialized and advanced skills that are not easy to learn on your own. The big tech companies and well-funded startups are all competing for the best talent. They are more interested in hiring the best rather than hiring a lot of these workers. That said, I think there will still be many great career opportunities related to Gen AI, related to Gen AI if you can combine it with specialized, specialized knowledge in a particular industry or domain. And I hope this video has been helpful. If you're someone who's been wondering what your role will be in this exciting new branch of artificial intelligence. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.